Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Are your prayers are not getting answer. Do not assume God does not hear you. Continue asking God to guide and inspire you with his Holy Spirit. Romans 8 verse 14 through 15. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Why should we believe God will answer our prayers? Because God promised before the beginning of time. In Titus 1 verse 2, the Bible tells us, This truth gives them confidence that they have eternal life, which God who does not lie promised them before the world began. Hebrews 10 verse 23 tells us, Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Romans 4 verse 21, He is able to bring it to pass, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. God's promise is not a blanket promise to give us every desire, because he will not honor or reward unfaithfulness. There are conditions on having our prayers answered. First, a person must be a child of God. He does not answer the prayers of those who reject him as their Lord and Savior. John 9 verse 31 tells us, We know that God does not listen to sinners. He listens to the godly person who does his will. We must come to the Lord with unwavering faith in him and in Jesus' name. And we must be persistent in our prayers with praise and worship. Let's begin. Isaiah 65 verse 24 and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 37 verse 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. He shall bring it to pass. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things, which you know not. Matthew 18 verse 19 Whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 Our Lord God, behold, you have made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm. There is nothing too hard for you. 1 John 5 verse 14 this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. 1 John 5 verse 15 And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have asked of Him. Matthew 21 verse 33 In all things, whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Matthew 18 verse 19 if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. James 5 verse 16 Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. James 5 verse 14 to 15 Is any sick among you? Let him call the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. John 14, verse 13. Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. John 16, verse 23. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. John 16, verse 24. Hit her too. Have you asked nothing in my name? Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. John 14, verse 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen.